Yeah, they would talk about it. They talk about the movie stars backstage, all the extras did. But they're like, hey, I know this one guy. He just went up there and gave a line and they kept it. And he got a sad card. We're like, whoa, really? What do you say? Uh, we don't really know if it ma matched with the script because he didn't have the script. <laughs> he just guessed what to say. You know, to kind of like, you know, if it was set in Brazil, he had a Brazilian accent, you know. But, you know, it's like uh, you have to figure it out. You got to listen. And then, you know, you might could say something. Because if, if, you, if you watch a movie, you can hear sometimes the extras talking. Um, if you listen and if that if you can hear that then that counts as a sad card immediate sad card But then you got to start paying dues. So you better get those commercials, right? Eric Zuckerberg. I mean, I'm sorry Eric uh, Soderberg. Sorry about that. Eric Soderberg. Sorry. I sound too much like Zuckerberg Soderberg. He's the one that gets all the commercials doing like 20th Century Fox commercials and all kinds of wonderful things oh, no, 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 no. Century what is it? It's um, it's not 20th Century Fox commercials although he could do one but uh, he did a, a, a century, the one about the ha the house. He did a bunch of them. Century 21, I think is what they call it. Yeah, Century 21. You know what I'm talking about. All I, all I did as an extra, well, other than like watch everybody, you know, I was like studying. We love Jesus. We love Fort Worth. Is, um, I would, um. I, I, you know, I, of course, I'd watch, you know, the director and actors and see what they were doing just to see if I could get some tips. You know, like, okay, all right, see, all right. He set that cup down that way, okay. Oh, he walked around that way, okay, yeah, he's talking He's talking like he's real. Um, I think what I did was uh, um, I try to, I try to, I try to take on a character, you know, so I do the character work, even though I was an extra. I was like, okay, where am I from? What state am I from? You know, uh, why am I here? Where am I going? What's my obstacle? What am I trying to sell? I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm doing that. I did a little bit of it. I, I kind of imagined myself, yeah, myself in the position and me just kind of standing there in this costume. I was an actor on set, you know, playing an extra, uh, something like that, you know, uh, which, you know, I don't know. I mean, I, I think for the Majestic, I really did picture like I was going to a movie. You know, I was like at the movie theater, so it kind of gave me an extra step. You know, I pictured what movie, you know, I wanted to see, had that kind of going on in my head. You have to have a little bit of that so you have the imagination stirring, so you're walking with imagination, you know. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to go see this movie. Okay, this movie's on. I don't remember the movie. It was like different movies each time, you know, that I was going to go see. I think one time it was like Superman or something like that. Um... You know, or like a Scorsese film. You know, it's like, okay, I got to get there. I'm going to be there on time, you know. You know, the Woody Allen thing. You don't want to miss the first frame. If you want the express pass, you got to get to the Masonic Temple. That's what that is. That's what the sign says. I got a big one. They did a movie on Hulu. Uh, it was like, is it kind of about the mystics of the Masonic thing? cannot remember what it was, but it was on Hulu. I watched it. It was really, really good. So many Hulu things. I like Reprisal. That was kind of a, a good one, I guess. It was uh, it was my favorite thing on Hulu at the time. It was really addictive. It was really funny. It was a comedy about them. Time for Evangelical. Without gossip, a quarrel dies down. Isn't that, isn't that great? Isn't that, isn't that something? Isn't that wonderful? I like cookies, cookies, ash, and cream. I like my cookies when I go to bed with my kitty cat and dream. One more time. Two and three and four. I like cookies, cookies, ice, and cream. I like my cookies when I go to bed with kitty and dream. I love my cookies, my cookies, ice and cream. I love to eat my cookies when I go to bed with kitty and dream and dream. One more time. I like my cookies, cookies, ice and cream. I love my cookies when I go to bed with my kitty. And I dream. 
Hi, everybody. Welcome to a special episode of the Please Subscribe Show. You bet it. The cookie. It's the cookie segment. Ooh. Watch out for this Dutch angle. A Dutch angle is when the camera kind of, I guess you could say tilts. It really doesn't tilt it. It goes like that. I guess it's kind of a tilt. It's not a pan. There's tilting. There's panning. Tilting, panning, tilting, panning, twist, I guess, twisting. Hmm. Make a pretty good screenshot, huh? There's the green thing right there. There you are. I see you. Hi. You're right there. Mm-hmm. Pot belly. Part of the three P's. Shh. I got those those king cakes here. Established in 1946. Get yourself a Swiss cheese sandwich. Yes, yes. The bullets don't work well in here. Red October. You buy the ticket, you take the ride. There it is. Away from Louisiana, sportsman paradise. As far back as I can remember, I always remember. What do you say? As far back as I can remember, I always loved the movies. Something like that. As far back as I can remember, I always loved the movies. Something like that, or the opening of Majestic. I'm just imagining Matt Damon and Ben Affleck at the phone. You know, they, they get on, you know, the phone call with Good Will Hunting, you know. Well, we want to use uh, Brad Pitt and Tom Cruise. No, Sylvester Stallone. Click. Give me the barbell. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one and two and three and four. I'm going to work on these forearms right here. Ring. All right, Matt Damon. Listen, we like Good Will Hunting. Um, we're going to, we're going to use... We'll use Ben Affleck, but we're gonna we're gonna so we want we want to use someone else besides you. We got this one actor in mind, Sylvester Stallone. Click one and two and three and four. Hey Ben, give me the uh, move out of the bench press. I'm gonna do another set. One and two and three and four. Lift the legs, lift, legs lift, lift. All right, you answer the phone, Ben. Yeah, what's going on, man? Uh, we want uh, we would like the script. Uh, we're gonna give you money for it. The Goodwill Hunting, yeah. Uh, but we want to use, um, oh, what is that guy's name? They don't even know the name. <laughs> They're like coming up with the actor's name. We're going to use, uh, is that Robin Williams? We got this other, click, Sylvester Stallone. Just send him a text. They have text back then. It was about right here. Phone rings again, you know. What's wrong with 
with the phone? I don't know. It sounds like Cole Spivey trying to do a, a phone ring. There it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, hello. Yeah, we like that script. Goodwill hunting, man. But we want to use... Um, um, Sylvester Stallone, click. <laughs> Give me the barbell. One and two... Three and four. That's what they said. That's what Matt Damon and uh, Ben Affleck said when they tried to replace them with other actors for that script that they wrote. Because they did it for their career. And, you know, they would say Sylvester Stallone because Sylvester Stallone wrote and, and produced Rocky. And they finally they got their way on it, too. And they, won, and they won an Oscar, too. It's a big deal. Ring, ring. Hey Matt, would you answer that? Yeah, not a problem, Matt Damon. Yeah, hello. Yeah, we like Goodwill Hunting. Uh, we we want to use Sean Penn and Arnold Schwarzenegger for the two roles. We're changing the ages. Sylvester Stallone, click. Give me the barbell. One and two. One and two. One money pit. Money pit, baby. Money pit. They didn't write money pit though. Nah, I'm joking. No, but it really happened. They wanted to use other actors. They got mad. They would hang up on them. I guess they'd go and work out and stuff. I don't know. Why don't they write another movie? What's going on? Oh, I got a text. Um, what? Yeah, right. Go write another movie. That's a good script. I, I, I read some of it. I read some of the, the opening. It was, it, was, it was pretty good. Compared to the other ones that I read, it was good. But, you know, write, why don't they write something else? I know Argo was good. Argo was good. But, you know, those acting roles, though, are tempting, you know? It's a lot of work. It's, I'm doing about a, a page a day on this one. Getting my... Uh, so another thing I need to start thinking about. The next scene. All right, let me make this text, and then I'll... I'll I, gotta, I gotta text something. All right, I don't really want to have him saying goodbye to Sharon. We're back to Escape from Maine. Um, not yet. We'll, we'll, we'll realize that he's a divorcee once he's in Maine. We get that idea. We get the idea that he's leaving for a reason. Because why else would he be packing his car full and taking off? So leave that anticipation there. But what we're going to do is we're going to do this scene. I'm going to riff. I'm riffing off the movie where they're going through Jackson, Tennessee. Jackson, Tennessee. I'm gonna look, I did look it up the other day. They're going through Jackson, Tennessee for whatever reason. I'm trying to think if it was actually really Jackson, Mississippi. My mom would know. Maybe Meryl Streep can call my mom. <laughs> That'd be funny. It would happen if Meryl Streep took it. If she took the role of mom. The role is called mom. She could call my mom. Mom could talk to Meryl Streep. I like Meryl Streep. I think she's great. Anyway, regardless... They're in, uh, let's say, let's say Jackson, Tennessee, and they're they're passing through there because they're eventually headed to Baltimore and then and then and then to Maine. But they're they're gonna probably eventually stay the night in. Um, I have to look in the book. I know for sure we stayed the night in Buffalo, New York. I know for sure we did that, but I don't know if we made it to Buffalo the first day. Regardless, it doesn't matter. We had cats. We had two cats there. So I'm going to come up with something with the cats and Jackson, Tennessee. And they're, they're passing. He's got this, this down. You know, he's got the window down. He's smoking a cigarette. And mom's covering, you know. And at this point in Jonah's life, he's uh, 39. He's 39. Approaching on 2012, the end of the world, the Mayan calendar. It could just be a sequence with just very minimal dialogue, you know, and then he's smoking and she says something. Now, what really happened was the song Jackson came on. It really did. We were approaching Jackson. That's why I always think when, when Bradley Cooper wrote Stars Born, Jackson, Maine, I always think of that. But anyway, regardless, uh, trying to think 100% on this I'm real weird about using music 
because then you're you're asking for that song to be purchased for that purpose of that moment. But I'm gonna I'm gonna add it because it really happened. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use um, the song Jackson with Johnny Cash. Actually, to be honest, I remember now. I had the song on a thumb drive. So the, the Kias back then had these little, they had what's called a jukebox. It looked, it wasn't this big, but you could take the thumb drive or the flash drive and you could plug it into the USB and it was basically how you played your music. You didn't stream back then really, you used the USB. So I put that in and, and then like, you know, hey, we're approaching Jackson. I got something for that. Takes out the thumb drive and he plugs it in. We're going to Jackson. And then mom's reading something, probably the Bible. And the cats are kind of curled up. And I got a cigarette going. And my hat, my UT hat on. Hat from uh, UT Texas. I, I only went to UT Texas for a summer for a theater arts program. That's, that's the scene we're going to work on next. So it's got color in there. Good old Johnny Cash. I'm going to throw it on here in a minute to get the vibes. Jackson, Mississippi, and maybe even Jackson, Tennessee. I'll just go through both of them. So they start off in maybe Jackson, Mississippi or whatever, and then the next thing you know, they're in Jackson, Tennessee. I'll have to look at the map to see which direction. So I'm going the right direction. But you'll hear the song start in Jackson, Mississippi or whatever, and then, you know, he puts it in. The next thing you know, they're pulling up to Jackson, Tennessee, and they're going through, you know, just passing through. Go on, Jackson. Maybe that's why the song is just Jackson only, you know? For all of you Johnny Cash fans, it was sung by Johnny Cash and June Carter, the song was. I think, too, if Johnny takes on the role, uh, sp speaking of Sylvester Stallone, um, I know his family is uh, big fans of Johnny Cash. Um, I am, too. Everybody since Walk the Line, you know. Um, and I know his dad listened to a lot of Johnny Cash. I know, I know he listens to a lot of Johnny Cash. So, kind of, kind of works. So, it's a win-win on that one. Now I'm going to Jackson. We got married in a fever. Hotter than a pepper sprout. We been headed to Jackson before the fire went out. I'm going to Jackson. All right, I, I listened to Johnny Cash and June Carter on a few different takes, listen, uh, singing the song Jackson. So Johnny Cash and June Carter singing Jackson. And I had it on a thumb drive. So I was able to plug it into the Kia Rio. I might try to do that, you know, have them in Mississippi, Jackson, Mississippi, and then going to Jackson, Tennessee. You see the sign that says Jackson, Mississippi, and then you, you see another sign that says Jackson, Tennessee. They've been driving for quite a bit of time. Uh, take out a little bit of the reality of it, but then, you know, definitely Jackson, Tennessee. I wonder if there's a Jackson, Alabama. Regardless, you get the point. You know, there's like a spring. If you go north, there's a Springfield in every other town. There's a Jackson, so he's going, you know, with his mom. And uh, so that can definitely be a thing. And, um, you know, he has a cigarette going and has some conversation. It may be one or two pages. So it would be like page six and seven that we're working on. So the first six or seven minutes of the movie. Escape from Maine is a little bit about the old father and the new father, you know the old way and the new way. And Jackson is kind of the old way in a little bit. It was kind of a mean time. And then, you know, you hear a song eventually when he gets to Parkman and he's going th by the uh, Harlow Pond and he turns on uh, War. On War. It's a war on war. It's a war on war. It's a war on war, which is Wilco. So he turns that on, and you get the the idea of the new thing, that it's a war on war, you know. 
we have a war on war, you know. There's a way to do that. It's with peace. Um, and this thing right here. You can get them in a lot of different places. It's called a pin. It's how you fight a war on war. War on war. Thank mm -hmm. you.